Okay, so this is problem number 24 from chapter 4, and we have the following circuit. We have 50 volts here, 80 ohms here, and we have um, 50 ohms here, and we have 40 ohms here, um, 800 ohms here, a 750 milliamp current source, and 200 ohms there. And we're asked what we need to do is find the voltage drop across the 800 ohm resistor using the node voltage method. Okay, so let's get started. First, this is a very obvious ground right here, so I'm going to take this to be my ground, my grounding node. And um, I see um, the other essential nodes that I see is going to be here, here, and here. So there are three essential nodes. Um, and V out is going to be the difference between these two voltage potentials. So I don't need to label this this node here because I already know what it is. It's 50 volts. It's just a piece of wire here, so it's 50 volts at that point. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to call this VA, and I don't know what this is, so I'm going to call that VB. Now, V out, going from here, is going to be the difference potential between VB and 50, so I can right away say that V out is going to be VB minus 50 volts. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and write our node voltage equation. Um, I don't know what VA is, so I'm going to start there. So, we have at node voltage at VA. That's going to give me VA minus 50 over 80. That's the current in that branch. That's that branch current. Plus VA over 50. That's this branch current plus over here VA minus VB over 40. That's going to be that branch current and they all sum up to zero. Now I'm going to rewrite this in a way that will be useful for make my uh, matrix application. So I'm going to group all the VAs together and here we have 1 over 80 and here we have plus 1 over 50 and here we have plus 1 over 40. And I'm going to group all my VBs together. And here I have negative 1 over 40. Any constants? We have one constant here, which is negative 5 eighths. That we can bring over to the other side of the equation as 5 eighths. So my matrix is starting to look like this. For VA, I have 180 plus 150 plus 140. For VB, I've got negative 1 over 40. And then for my equals, I got 5 eighths there. Okay, that's one equation and two unknowns, so let's do node voltage at VB to get our second equation. So node voltage at VB gives us VB, this branch current, minus 50 over 800. That's that branch current. Then this branch current is going to be VB minus VA. That's over 40. And then this branch current is going to be negative 750 milliamps, or negative 0.750. And this branch current is VB over 200. These sum up to zero. Remember, the node voltage method, even though it's called voltage, has the word node voltage in it, it's really KCL, where some have branch currents. Um, so again, let's combine our VAs. Where do I have VA? I have one over here, negative 140. And no, there's no other VA. So over here, then now I'm going to combine my VBs. And that's going to give me 1 over 800 here, plus I have a VB right here, 1 over 40. I have a VB right here, which is 1 over 200. And over here, my constants are negative 5 over 80. So I'm going to bring that over, it becomes positive 5 over 80. And the negative 0.750 is going to be plus. 0.750. So my matrix looks like this, negative 140, 
And then for the BB, I've got 1 over 800 plus 1 over 40 plus 1 over 200. And for my constants, I have 5 over 80 plus 0 0.750. Okay, so you should know how to use the matrix application on your T. You probably have a TI-89 engineering calculator, and there is a if you go down to apps, there is a matrix application, but let me just verify that I have my court, my things right because I already did this on my TI-89. 180, 150, 140, negative 140, and 5 eighths. Okay. And then for my other equation, negative 140, 1 over 800, 1 over 40, 1 over 200, 5 eighths, 5 eightieths plus, yes. So when you do that, you will find that uh, VA, is equal to 34 volts and VB is equal to 53.2 volts. That's 53.2 volts. So then V out is VB minus 52. So that's 53.2 volts minus 50. So V out then is equal to 3.2 volts. And that is the answer to problem 24.